Hey folks, it's Greg here for GS Vervine. And today I'm over at the Edmonds Community Center in the Edmonds Snooker Club. And at the club there are two teams. The A team and what we like to call the A team in training. Really the B team. Today I'm talking to Ray, one of the senior members at the Edmonds uh, Snooker Club. And he's in the A team. Today they won, this year they won the competition for the regional tournaments. So Ray, wow. now what you oh, played a lot of snooker here. I started yes. playing in August. So that would make it exactly one year ago. And I've noticed you, and you didn't know, but I've been copying your style a little bit. <laughs> Unsuccessfully, that might be a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Why do you play snooker? What, 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 is, what does it mean to you? Well, I actually, I, I'll, I'll tell you that you've been here for one year. I've been here for three years. Oh, so that, that's, really? that's how long I've been playing. Oh. But you I mean was, you started playing three years ago? I, I was never really a snooker player before. I, I played a lot of uh, pool when I was growing up. And the, that pool, there were probably 50 pool rooms in Vancouver uh, during the late 60s and early 70s when, when I was playing. And most of the time, it was the only legitimate way to gamble as well. <laughs> so it was a money-making thing. Uh -huh. uh, so I played for about four or five years when I was very young. And then, uh, and then I, I, pa I passed on it for probably almost 40 years until I uh, took my, uh, my, my son in, into a pool room in, uh, in Richmond. And just sort of started kicking the balls around with him again, and, and played a couple of years of, uh, of eight ball in smaller tables. Ah, yeah. It's amazing that uh, I mean a game with such little small balls can be so addictive. I know because I'm actually hooked on the game myself. <laughs> so you spend a lot of time playing this game as a means of recreation, just yeah. to get away from work. By the way, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm uh, I have a development company, and I'm also a licensed realtor. Oh, real estate, see? Now, it seems like most people out here in the Vancouver area are somehow related to land in some way or the other. Real estate is a big thing. And I noticed that uh, you <laughs> conveniently placed one of your cards yeah, here. Probably an accident well, thing. <laughs> I may as well, since I'm talking to Ray, this is Ray's card. And if you want to get in touch with Ray, you can give him a call. He approves of it. Anyway, Ray, so. I want you to do something for me, mm -hmm. because I know when I go home, sometimes I dream about this game. Yeah. I'd like you to demonstrate a few shots for me. Okay. Oh. Now, one problem that I have is to draw the ball back. Mm -hmm. Another problem that I have is to focus and concentrate on a straight shot. Uh -huh. Now, the angles, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. You know, maybe about 65% on a good day. But the drawback and those uh, uh, straight shots mm -hmm. seem to be my problem. Can we do that? We can do that. There are two different, two different shots, so I, I can show you uh, a little bit, uh, uh, give you an idea of how to handle each of them. Okay. So we can, if you want, I, we can start with the, with the drawback. Actually, even though it looks the most difficult, it's actually really quite simple. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Pretty, this is a fundamental shot or in pool. Uh, the, the, the keys here, besides the grip and the stance and, and all of the basic stuff, is, and, and this is what I see a lot of people do, is when they, when they play this shot, they, 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 they don't get the cue down low enough on the cue ball, and then they tend to just hit it like that. One of the keys of this shot is actually when you hit the cue ball, that you take the the cue, the tip of the cue, and actually follow right through, like that, at that that much of a, a distance as well, right? And that and that way. That that ball comes back quite easily. Take your position. Put the cue ball down near the bottom. Get ready, and follow right through. You line it up, drop into the shot. Whoa, 
what is it about snooker that keeps you coming back? Well, what drives me is my Mercedes. <laughs> He's got a sense of humor. This Had to get that one in. <laughs> but what is it really about this game? I've been playing this game for 50 years. More. More. 55 years. And it's kind of like a habit, you know. Once, once you hear the click of the balls when I'm 15 years old, I'm like, whoa, what is that? How cool is that? You know, and I... It was uh, it, it it attracts you into the room, you know. And uh, I was fascinated. I was horrible. Never played any good, but I loved the game and I hung around with a lot of people that were really good at it. And you've uh, been playing since room. you were 15. Yeah. So tell me I'm something about now. this. Tell me something. Well, you don't look like it, but what has changed from a technical point of view in this game? The table, the cube. Equipment. Oh, well, when we started, we were playing on six foot by 12 foot tables. Those are the regulation size tables. These are five foot by 10 foot tables. They're th considered three quarter size tables. And, uh, well, they're obviously easier, but uh, for seniors, they're a challenge. You know, we don't have the eyes that we had when we were younger, so it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a great size table for us. And, it, and it's Big enough that we can still play snooker without the balls getting in the way of themselves. And, uh, you know, the, the comparison that I've always made between, uh, say, uh, eight ball or pool, nine ball, and snooker is kind of like the comparison between checkers and chess. This is, this is the chess game of the pool. Mm -hmm. This is where you have strategy, where you have to think ahead, where you've got to think a long way ahead because in order to run the table, Perfectly, I think you got to run thirty uh, seven ball, uh, thirty seven balls. Yeah, I think I think I got that right. Fifteen reds, fifteen blacks. That's thirty plus all the colors. That's thirty six. Where'd the other one come from? Oh, well, with me, it's thirty seven because I always scratch. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, what I notice here is that the club is dominated by men. Yeah. And I wonder. I know we there's a drive that we would like to even things out with the membership. Why do you think more women aren't drawn to this game? I think because the men aren't, in, aren't encouraging it. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking the men should be encouraging the women and the, and the women should understand and, and be led to understand by the men that this is not a man's game. This is just a great sport, you know. And it, it, it's been predominantly a gentleman's game. Has been, you know, for a hundred and some odd years. But uh, it's more than that now. If but in the older women, you know, I mean, the older women like our age, for example, <coughs> they weren't involved in that because they don't go to pool halls. They were, they were decent girls, right? right? And, and we, were, we were what we were. And now they're older, and nobody's ever invited them. Nobody's ever uh, offered to teach them. That's the, that's the key know? thing, though. And that's what we're trying to do. If they join the club, are there people willing to... Absolutely, we all are. Okay. We all we all are, and especially if they were miniskirts. Okay. <laughs> well, you heard it from ah. Rob, right? <laughs> okay, so we, we I think the club is making a, a, an effort to encourage more of the community, not just in Burnaby but everywhere, to come into snooker clubs Connie, and, and can join you give me up. That, that card, the green card, up there. and um, there are so many people willing to help. Um, teach you the game, play with you on the table um, as often as you want. Um, don't be intimidated by it. This guy has been playing for over 15, 50 years and he's willing to play with an absolute beginner. So there you go. This is. And uh, we have produced a little, um, well, a, a, a calling card. That's, that's what we give out to people now and, and hopefully it encourages them to uh, come and try us out. This is the Edmonds Snooker Club. Invitation, yeah. An invitation. Yeah, they get three three free visits, and they can come and uh, see if they like it. We'll try. We'll help them every way we can. We teach them, hold them how to hold the stick and how to push the ball, and you know. So you got to try before you buy. Just come over, shoot. Uh, three, you don't have three, to three times. But you got three freebies. Three freebies, yeah, and before, then, uh, then you can you decide like if you like us and if you like the game. But that sounds like a good deal, and I don't think you can resist it. So. Welcome to the Edmund Snooker Club. No, exactly. No. See you next time. Hey folks, it's Greg here for GS Vervine, and today I'm at the Edmund Snooker Club and I'm talking to Eva, one of the ladies in the 
snooker club. Now, there aren't that many ladies that I've seen around, but I've seen Eva on a few occasions here. So, Eva, yes. how long have you been a member of this club? Well, I will be membering this club around three, four years. Three or four years? Yeah. Okay. And um, so you started playing about three or four years ago, or you just started playing here three or four years ago? When did you start playing the game? Actually, um, when I was retired at 65, and uh, I played uh, table tennis for senior games. And, but I have too many injuries, and I find that uh, Sloka is the best uh, you know, game for me, more suitable for me, because more safety in the, in the room, you know, don't have to uh, can be, uh, avoid injuries. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you've so, been so retired I, for a few then, years yeah, now? I, I play, I play a senior game in table tennis for... for uh, five years. Five years. Yes, oh. every year I joined there, and after that I changed to Sloka. Now. now I'll tell you something that I noticed. Now I don't have any research on this, mm. but I've noticed that a lot of the people playing snooker every anywhere I go yeah. tend to be people seniors, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if it's because they have more time or it's just that it's a, the sort of game that keeps you mentally active. Now you know you know we have Bill. Mm. Or, is it Bill or Tom? Uh, who's 92 years old? Yeah. It's Bill, right? Mm -hmm. so a Bill, yeah. Bill. He's yeah. 92 years old and, and he plays in the club. Really good. Good. And he calculates all the points going down to when the game is no longer winnable. Now, if you can understand that at 92 years old, that's very impressive. Yeah. And and he's not the only one. Mm. We have several players like him. I think there must be something going on there. I don't have research, but I think I wouldn't be surprised if there's something about snooker that keeps you mentally active. Now, Eva, as the only lady mm -hmm. that's regularly playing here among so many gentlemen, what's your feeling about that? Oh, I feel I feel very good because they um, they treat me well and very willing to teach me, you know. Uh, from the beginning, you know, my, my fundamental, my fundamental uh, shots and all that. I'm really appreciate and I'm happy uh, to be in here. Every, every, every uh, males are very um, nice. Mm -hmm. So you don't see yourself ever no, I stopping? Don't. There's nothing to stop you from playing, right? No, no. I um, I wish more women will join to the game because it's very good for the mind, as you say, it's mind game, right? And uh, snooker make you concentrations and all that. You feel, you just feel good. Active. You know. No. Why do you think there aren't as many women playing as there are men? What's your feeling about that? What What do you think could be the reason? Maybe this game in the earliest time is. Mostly the men game, you know, they they like um, they, they go pool and all that, you know. That's why uh, women they have another kinds of uh, activities to join, right? That's that is why. So you think traditionally it used to be a guys yeah, yeah. men's game, yeah. Um, and of course, like everything else, things are changing. Yeah. Women are doing everything that men do mm -hmm. and doing it just as well. I think you may be right on that. Um, so, do you play competitively? I, do you, are you on the B team I, at I the was, club? Um, yeah, I play. I play B team. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. competitively, it's also <laughs> quite interesting, right? Yes. Different game, too, just yeah, a, yeah. a friendly like, game, right? You, know, you, know, yeah, I, you have to yeah, play more like defensive and. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Well, it's a lot to learn. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't think you ever stop learning this game. No, even, no. even Danny, uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, as long as, <laughs> you know, he long misses some shots too, I yes. see. Well, I think, Eva, that if you were to be talking to the group of ladies out there in yeah. Burnaby, mm. or in any area in Canada or around the world, yeah. what would you say to them about snooker? What are the positive things you can say about snooker that would encourage them to join clubs everywhere? Well, I may say for senior female, 
you know, uh, we uh, we can we can't be uh, very active like we are young. So snooker game, snooker being snooker, is the best uh, best game. Uh, you know, because you know you can uh, concentration your 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 shooting and uh, it's a mind game. You using your mind. <laughs> And also um, the environment, you know, uh, very comfortable place to uh, to stay in. Yeah. And of course, mm -hmm. being among a room of gentlemen yeah. doesn't hurt too, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, folks, from Eva's mouth. Ladies, join up.
well, sometimes we miss. Every time I had this camera.